Hey friends, today we are going to go from rest position to play position. All right, so first thing we already know is that rest position feet look like this. Your feet are together. And this is how we always just want to stand, protecting our bridge and protecting our violin. This is how we stand when we take a bow, right? But when we play, we want to be standing really strong, like a strong tree, right? So I'm going to actually turn around so that you're using the same feet. Hopefully you can see my feet. So rest position feet are together. When I go to play position, I'm going to keep my heels together and move my toes apart. That's called zip. If you do ballet, that's like first position. And then I'm going to step my left leg just a little bit out. All right, now I'm gonna turn around so you can hear me better. Turning around, but still that's my left foot. Remember it was on that side, but when I turn around, it's actually on this side. Remember that flip-flop mirror thing? Okay, so if you're like a tall tree, you can sway with the breeze and you won't fall over. And so bend your knees and sway with the breeze. Super awesome. So your violin is still here for now. So here's what I want you to do. So I have put a magic X on my finger. It's right where your finger ends and your hand begins. That's your magic X. And we're going to put that magic X right against the bottom of the neck. So if I'm looking at it that way, can you see? So right there, and your thumb is just going to rest, just barely touching the top. And your fingers are super relaxed. They're not like super stiff or tight. They're just, they're just hanging out. So we're going to put them there and we're going to slide back and forth. Remember, we're not, slot, we're not moving our wrist like a fish. We're moving the whole arm and wrist and hand together. And we're just going slightly here. That's what it should sound like. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna stop here, kind of tap on the strings, slide back and forth, stop against. So this is the rib. We're gonna stop against the rib, tap, tap, tap on the strings, slide back and forth. This is really gonna help later when you are learning how to shift and how to hold your violin. So we're gonna stop here. Now, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna hold just a little bit tighter, just enough so I can let go of this arm. Let me turn around and do that. So I let go of this arm, right? Okay, so now I have zipped and step. You're stepping this way, right? And I'm holding on just a little tighter, let go of this arm. And I'm gonna hold my violin out like I'm Statue of Liberty. And I'm gonna to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's making this muscle really strong. And then I'm going to go back to rest position. Slide back and forth on the magic X. Come against the rib, tap, tap, tap. Hold on a little bit tighter. We're gonna do this again. Let go with this arm. Statue of Liberty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go back to rest position. I'm going to turn around for this next part so you can see what happens on the other side. All right, so turning around, zip and step. I'm going to let go. Statue of Liberty. Now I'm going to turn my scroll. Did you see that? that way until I can see that end button and I'm gonna make it come in and kiss my neck. And it's going to be on my collarbone. Do you know what? I forgot my shoulder rest, but I know you have yours on. All right, and then I'm gonna back up here a little bit. I'm gonna take my fingers and go over, so I'm making a tunnel over the fingerboard and the strings, and I'm gonna go Dirty doggy scrub, scrub, put him in the tub, tub, rub-a-dub-a-dub, 
dub, dirty doggy scrub, scrub. Awesome. Now I'm going to make sure I'm holding on tight enough, but not too tight. And I'm going to put my violin back in rest position. And then we're going to take a bow. Feet are back in rest position, feet. 